this being a little shit, I think, is what's happening. Because I cannot hear a fucking thing. I cannot. And I'm assuming that none of you can hear a thing either. Or am I just being an idiot? Wow, I'm being a fucking idiot. Unbelievable. Okay, so now I can actually fucking hear it. Wow. I cannot hear a fucking thing right now. Remaking Final Fantasy VII has allowed Maybe us to dive much deeper into the world way. and its characters Maybe. than ever before. The game design was optimized for this title as well, and we anticipate two Blu-ray discs worth of gameplay content. <laughs> the first game in this project expands on the story of Midgar and is such an elaborate retelling that it has become a solid standalone game in its own right. Oh, that's exactly what the fuck was. Through the content we are about to unveil today, and through all that we have yet to unveil, we will not disappoint your expectations. What was that about disappointing my expectations? <laughs> All right, there we go. I fucking fixed it. Hallelujah. To newcomers who never played the original, uh, we present to you a completely new Final Fantasy and a perfect starting point to explore the world of Final Fantasy VII. Okay, cool. Please welcome Neil Pabone, Senior Manager, Product Marketing, Square Enix. Damn, this is some nice music that they got going on here. So, Neil is here to introduce you and walk you through gameplay. Oh my god, they're actually showing gameplay. Let's mosey. Yo, let's fucking mosey. I like mosey. What do you mean, barely does any damage? Get the hell out of here. Tactical mode, oh boy. And you have the opportunity to choose actions from the command menu. Katapi-san, I've had the pleasure of seeing... Holy shit, so they're like fucking frozen in time? That's so cool. That's so good! They're fucking stopped in time right now. Oh, that's funny. Whoa. Oh, that's actually kind of sick. Of course, this being a remake, we're sure to see some familiar faces. With the use of his iconic gun arm, Barrett is able to target enemies at a distance. Barrett's standard attacks generate ATB charges similar to Cloud, but his abilities are entirely different. Switching between characters in combat is done with a single button press, which makes rotating through party members a snap. Speaking oh, that's actually pretty fucking dope. When are we going to see Tifa in action? Really seamless uh, transition there. Maybe, maybe soon. Soon. Wow. Will continue to fight even 
Freaking cock blocking us with Tief, I see how it is. Okay. Every enemy has a focus gauge that fills up as you do damage. When the gauge is full, the enemy becomes staggered, and you'll deal. And then you can just cut loose. Yo, where's Cross Slash? Dude, this looks so dope! Holy shit! For players who prefer fast-paced action, abilities and spells can be bound to shortcuts for immediate execution. Shortcuts make combat extremely dynamic, but the choice of using them is All right, so that's like Kingdom Hearts shit with the fucking shortcuts. That's right. The game has been made so that you can choose how to play. I hope players get excited about this. Oh my god, it looks so good. Fantasy 7 remake, and we look forward to showing you a whole lot more in the coming months. For now, Let's see how Cloud and Barrett do against a more formidable foe. Yeah, they're not gonna show fucking Sephiroth, though. They're not gonna sh actually show Sephiroth, though. <laughs> oh, this looks pretty sick. Alright. So this is directed by, uh... Wait, isn't the remake directed by, uh... What's-his-face? Um... Nomura? Oh, that was an interesting hard cut. Huh. I, li I like that. I like the the, the slow-mo feature. Honestly, I really like that transition. That transition is really, really good. Shit. You know, I was kind of hoping the cloud would be a little more faster than that. Seems, uh, seems a tad slow. Although, I could definitely be mistaken. Yo, can we see, like, an Ultima ability or something? From Cloud, at least? Okay, so that's staggered. Damn. Dude, this looks so good. Holy shit. Cloud needs healing. Ugh. Oh my god, I love it. This game looks so freaking good. Although, it better look good considering that they took fucking... Like, what? Four years to make so far? Coming out, like, what was it? February 2020, I think it was. I like the dialogue between them, too. Like, the, the like, ongoing dialogue in the fights. I like that. Oh, holy shit. All out attack? I gotta say, like... 
this is definitely cool and all. However, I feel like hmm, I don't I don't know I don't know the best way to put this. Like we're just watching like one boss fight. I almost want to watch like a whole like mission of sorts. Oh, a nice cross slash. Yo. Oh, come on. You guys have been fine this whole time. Oh, what the hell? That bum wasn't even activated. And it got away? Oh. I was gonna freaking say. That was pretty good. That was actually, like, really nice. Oh my god, don't you fucking dare. Oh. <laughs> Yo, if Nomura shows up in a fucking Sephiroth suit, that would be accurate. That would actually be very, very accurate. Thank you for joining us, Nomura-san. It is an absolute honor to have you. You see that? Kitake-san, how do you feel... That's the man who ruined Kingdom Hearts. And Final Fantasy Advent Children. And this man is wearing shorts. Bring out the Tetsuya Nomura me <laughs> Eames. The Tetsuya Nomura Eames. Oh my god, I said it again. The Tetsuya Nomura memes. Holy shit. Alright, I get to take a quick text break considering he's speaking Japanese. Oh boy. So first and foremost, uh, we wanted to extend our gratitude to those who have been waiting so patiently and have been supporting us for such there a long go. time until now. And also, um, we've taken a look at gameplay right now, and we've fairly showed you um, a good bit. And I was wondering, do you guys want to actually play the game? Yo! Yo, are you, is, is there a demo? <laughs> Give us the demo, my guy! Mm -hmm. So we actually have playable demo kiosks available at the Square Enix E3 booth. So ah! Give us a demo. <laughs> hey Toothless, what's good? Give us a demo. So finally, there is something that we wanted to show you. Um, yesterday, we showed you a short version of a trailer at the Final Fantasy VII concert. Today, Ooh. today, we have a longer version. Ooh, let's go. All right, please take a look. I just want a demo. Give me a demo. I actually haven't seen this trailer yet. I just saw the release date and that was it. Jeez. 
Jesus. If this city loads up one time... Oh my god. Fucking perfection. Oh my god. That looks so fucking good. Oh my god, we got motorcycle fights! Hmm. Oh, and there's Cloud. I like this remix, too. This remix of the classic song is so good. Bye bye. Oh, that cross slash. Yo, it's Tifa. Holy shit, dude. Get to have drinks with Tifa. That's so fucking cool. We weren't kidding about this being a longer trailer. I'm pretty sure it's only Tifa. Like the on Tifa's the only new thing about these trailers. Ooh, ooh, nice short, you can. Freaking uh, swamp monsters. All right. Ah, that looks so good, holy shit. I just really, really hope it's not boring. That is all I want. I do not want this game to be boring. And Cloud had a completely different sword. You can change his sword type? Oh my god. Run away. You have to leave. You have to leave. You bastard. Yeah. Holy shit. On to that hatred. Final Fantasy 7. Directed by the man who killed Kingdom Hearts. March 3rd, huh? Deluxe edition? Or do we have a collector's? I guess not. I'll be getting that deluxe edition, though. Wait a minute. Yo, there's the collector's edition! Oh, I might be getting that one. Adding that to my collection back there. Damn. Alright. Now, the, the the one I'm actually really looking forward to is uh, Avengers. It's only for PS4? <laughs> I don't care. That's even better. I have a PS4. That makes it even better. That it's only on PS4. It should only be on PS4. Honestly. Come on, Daniel, you got this. Jesus. I like the streamer montage. That's gonna be me. Oh. Oh my god. I miss dad. I'm so sorry, Daniel. I'm really 
glad I got to meet you. It's the same for me. Ah, uh, bro hug. What a nice dude, man. So the boy's all grown up. Oh yeah, Amanda, this is uh, 100% your game. <laughs> run, Daniel, run! Oh my god, they're fucking crying. Life is strange to- What? It's out right now? Oh, wow, that graphic is actually insanely cool. Wait, what? Is this a video game about asthma? Um. Okay. Final Fantasy Asthma Edition? I also hope so. I just want to see a damn trailer for that game. I'm not really into these retro RPGs though. Looks like a freaking One Piece character. This is our chance. Hmm. Ooh, what's this? What would you sacrifice for power? Devil may cry? Question mark? Virgil DLC? I'm motivated, confirmed? No, that's not gonna happen. I feel like the Square Enix conference is basically just like a very small handful of games that people are very excited about, and then that's it. Personally speaking, I'm not really looking forward to anything except, uh, well, Final Fantasy. Maybe Kingdom Hearts. That's cool. And, uh, the Avengers game. If anything, they're gonna show Avengers at the end. Oh, Dragon Quest, all right. The children of Hargon, the vile cult that worships destruction, has outlawed the building. This is Dragon Quest 2. It's the game that uh, Itsuna wanted to make, right? Or is it or was that Dragon's Dogma? Washed up 
on the deserted shores of the Isle of Awakening. Jeez, he looks like mini Goku. <laughs> It looked really cute though. It looks very anime. Has a very nice style. Yeah! <laughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Where's that where's that Avengers game? It, it looks like Minecraft. Like third person Minecraft. Not that there's anything wrong with third person Minecraft. Just like the text block style makes it look a lot like Minecraft. Hmm. Oh, that's neat. Ow. And fight. Oh my god. That red ogre had an X on his heart. I look kind of cool. Harvest with your villagers to till soil, plant seeds, and raise a multitude of crops. Oh, yeah, no, this is not my kind of game at all. I kind of like thought that from the beginning, but this is definitely not my game. 100% not. Unite. Alright, there we go cord was stuck. It's been stuck this whole time, but I unstuck it. Yo, are they making a smiley face? This really is Minecraft. It should be Minecraft 2, not Dragon's Dogma 2. Look, they're even in the Nether Realm. Minecraft 2. Bring an end to destruction and save the world in Dragon Quest Builders 2. Playable demo on June 27th. That's pretty sweet. Oh, we got a Switch game. Wait, what? Wait, what is this? Is this is this like a the dragons something? Oh wait, isn't this Dragon Quest? Isn't that what it's called? I don't know what any of these fucking games are called now. Yeah, who is that? I feel like I've seen that image before. Yep, there it is, Dragon Quest. On the Switch. Yep, this is Itsuno's game. Available this fall. Yeah. Um, the leaks are basically saying the Dragon's Quest is... Like, hit... That guy is gonna be in Smash tomorrow. Will that happen? I don't know. Bring your servants. Huh. What is this? Indie games? The 
returning to us. Discount portal. I mean, I would ask why they're even showing a trailer like this. However, I didn't even know that any of these freaking games existed. Oh my god, <laughs> it's... Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, I have no idea what any of these games are. Alright, what do we got for 2019, baby? Battalion? Alright, so what's coming out in 2020, my guy? Cars? Cars the video game? It's Cars the video game. Whoa, what the hell? Which brings together a whole range of styles and eras of motorsport. That's not just me. Is it? And show a sneak preview of our game, which Square Enix Collective will publish in 2020. Join us for the ride and see you again soon. Why is it just that one? That was weird. Yo, dri drifting? Circuit superstars. We got a uh, Call of Duty. to check that out. Battalion sounds like fun. Ooh. That was a good snipe. Kill enemies, win matches, and rank up to demonstrate I gotta say, I'm not sure how I like their whole, like, narration style, where they're, like, narrating everything that's happening. Yeah, no, this is real cool. Hold the Axis offensive in their tracks with the rapid fire PPSH, or take fire with pixel precision with the Mosin Nagant and a whole host of new weapons. The Mosin Nagant. I've fired a Mosin before. That thing is a fucking beast. I wish it was on PS4, though. The hell is this? Baby Driver? Baby Driver the game? The hell? <laughs> this is so stylish. Square Enix Music Streaming Service. What? 
Oh no! Oh no! The copyright striking is going to begin! No, I don't want that! I can already listen to your fucking music anywhere I want! And here's Kingdom Hearts. The DLC that's not coming until next fucking year, probably. So, the coat wards off darkness. It's useful. Told ya! So how'd it go? The world tour! This fucking game, I swear to god. In an awful way, I realize just how necessary I am. Only thing I care about is playing as the other characters. Playing as Riku, Aqua, whatever. My boy Roxas! My boy Roxas! I just want to play as Roxas! Yo, I swear to god, if you only get to... If this whole fucking DLC update thing just lets you play as, like, those characters in their respective boss fights, I am going to be fucking furious. I'll just keep playing dumb, because all I know how to all I know how to play is cards. Re what is this? Reminds. Fuck off. Yeah, coming this winter. Your game came out in fucking January. Your DLC. Your DLC should be here like yesterday. It has almost been six fucking months since Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. And the only thing that, that we got was Critical Mode. A mode that should have been in the game from the very fucking beginning. So we'd like to take a little bit of your time to show off um, Shadowbringers Final Fantasy XIV's third expansion pack, which is releasing on July the 2nd. They're just going to keep running Final Fantasy XIV into the fucking ground. Unbelievable. Honestly, honestly, guys, Square Enix should not have fucking press conferences. They, the only thing, the only big thing that they really have going for them is Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts, which is like an ex expanded off of Final Fantasy. Like, I'm not even really that big of a Final Fantasy guy, but holy crap. I just, I don't understand the appeal of all these Final Fantasy games. That's, that's just me. Like, Final Fantasy VII is a little different. Even then, I've never really played Final Fantasy VII. Because I fucking hate... I hate... RP I hate RPGs. I, I've, I've basically just decided that. I, I hate RPGs. RPGs in, like, turn-based turn games. Turn-based turn combat. I fucking hate it. Can we see it? Do you have a trailer? Did you bring some gameplay? <laughs> Wait, how did I have 
Did I offend you with the the the, the role playing and turn based games? Oh, thank God they have a fucking trailer. And Final Fantasy XIV, I think, is like League. It's basically like the Final Fantasy version of League. I feel like they should have started with this. They should have started with that and then talked. I'm sorry, I just do not understand. I just do not understand the appeal of Final Fantasy. I played a. Uh... That wasn't even really a fucking trailer! Oh, there we go, thank god. I played uh, Lightning Returns, that's it. I like, the, I like the style of it, but the story is garbage, and what the hell is happening? It's not me, is it? Like, is the sound jumping for you guys? Or is Square Enix's conference just full of glitches? No, because you guys see the you guys see the light too. Favorite Avenger. Um, if Spider Man counts, it's Spider Man. If Spider Man doesn't count, it's Captain America. Or actually, scratch that, Hawkeye. Hawkeye is pretty fucking good too. Yo, is that, isn't that a, uh, what's his face, Squall's sword? This world's beyond saving. Like those who try to save it. Oh, that kind of sounds like Chris Hemsworth. This world has had its fill of I might be go, I might be crazy though. This music is dope though. If there's one thing I gotta give Final Fantasy credit for, it's dope ass music. Yeah, no, this is pretty dope. Oh, what the fuck? There we go. Everything we did. Everything we gave. What was it for? The time has come, and so have I. I will laugh last because you came to die. The devil started and the pain subsides, and I will see the fear clear when I look in your eyes. Yeah, no. The, is the is the sound cutting out for you guys too? Like that? Like did did you hear that glitch? How many years I waited for this moment? Cuz I'm pretty sure it's not my headset. Yeah, it is. Wait, so Amanda, yeah, it is for like, it's glitching out for you guys too, or is it just me? I'm sorry, I can only assume I misheard, but it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both. Like, is it the press conference, or is it the red grave? It's glitching for you. Okay, if it's glitching for you, it's probably glitching for everyone else as well. What is this?
Zombie apocalypse? This music is so cool. Oh, it's a zombie game. Mirror's Edge, but with zombies. Dying Light 2? Okay. Yeah, I have seen this kind of game before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the first Dying Light. This looks so cool. Oof. Yeah, hit him with that axe. Oh! -ho -ho. Yep, Dying Light 2. You were right, Toothless. Nice. Oh, what is that really weird over the shoulder? Ah, oh, that did... That looked really weird. I don't want to say it looked good or bad, it just looked weird. Alright, are we getting Avengers? Nope. Two celebrated RPG classics, bye. Nope. No thank you. The retro music is cool, though. This does sound very nice. Uh, as I said, RPGs just aren't my style. I, I don't really enjoy them. Yeah, wake me up when, uh, when this is over. Not all P Yeah, I know, Amanda. I'm just, I just, I'm just not a fan of RPGs. I actually haven't played Dying Light. Yeah, I'm not saying that, like, RPGs are bad. Actually, I am saying they're bad. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, I just don't like them. The only, like, RPG turn-based game that I actually thoroughly enjoyed was a Mega Man game. And even then, it was pissing me off because it was a turn RP it was a turn-based RPG. That's the only thing I hated about it. Everything about it was great. Oh my god! Shut up about Final Fantasy! I've also decided that I just do not like Square Enix's press conferences. A conflict later spoken of as the War of the Visions. Uh, yo, that's that is literally the Gryffindor signal. Slytherin. We have all right. We have Gryffindor. We have Hufflepuff. We have Slytherin. Where's Ravenclaw? There we go. There's Ravenclaw. All 
largest city state. And there's a founded by one who claims to be God. Ravenclaw number two. Each burden with its own dignity. Thus is the curtain drawn on a struggle in which the fate of the nations rests. I wanna be a Gryffindor. They should just rename the Square Enix press conference Final Fantasy Press Conference. Seriously. Uh. Gears of War. People can fly. People can fly entertainment. That is the press conference we are watching, yes. Is this it? The hell is this? You have my interest. Oh man, that dude is absorbing bullets. What the hell? Outriders. Oh, that's cool. Kinda wish I knew what game it was though. Coming out in a whole year and a half from now. Holy shit. Please welcome Sebastian Wojciechowski, studio head. Wojciechowski? That's a mouthful. People can fly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Jeez. To officially announce, I believe I can fly. Space Jam 2. And I know that some of you are watching this live, even though it's 4 a.m. in the morning in Poland, so make a noise for them, please. Yeah, Poland! Thank you, thank you. And of course, yeah, Poland. thank you for the help and support as we work together on this exciting new IP. You know, over the past few years, People Can Fly has grown to over 200 developers and four studios across Poland the UK, and most recently the US, to bring you what is our most ambitious shooter to date. To present more, <laughs> to present more <laughs> of our vision, I would like to take this moment to introduce a short video from our game director, Bart Smita. I just kind of want to see gameplay. More on Outriders this winter. Thank you. And then again, I mean, they did just announce it, and it's not coming out until summer. Of next year. Shooters are in our DNA. It's our passion. And it's what we do. Hmm. Outriders draws on all our experience from all our previous titles. Man, because they make Gears of War, huh? We wanted to make for a very long time. We describe Outriders as a dark, modern shooter built hmm. with traditional values. By that, I mean we are creating an experience with a strong story that you can enjoy with your friends or on your own. We want to tell a complete story. 
We are confident we are building a shooter with a powerful gunplay. Oh, whoa. Those are some interesting looking guns. We want to spend many hours in. And these creatures look something straight out of a vault. Outrider is a one two or free player drop in, drop out co op shooter. In our game, you will create your own Outrider and journey across the host oh, create a character? Sweet. search of the source of a mysterious signal. It's, it's a pretty dark and unforgiving world, and yes, there is a lot more depth to the game, but I can't say it's much more right now. No, they're showing Avengers. That was pretty interesting, though. I, I gotta give I gotta give him props. It's gonna be the last thing they're gonna fucking show. These narrations are just so fucking boring. There is no greater fruit to reincarnation. Final Fantasy 17. As we send off the dead. But the souls of those who held back their tears in life still need salvation. Honestly. I just think that Score Enix is god awful when it comes to trailers. Especially these trailers. Not to mention, like, all they're really good at are RPGs. Yo, if Avengers is a fucking RPG. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I probably won't even buy it. <laughs> I hate RPGs that much. I will not buy Avengers if it's a fucking RPG. Honestly. I am saving money. Avengers isn't going to come out until we're out of college. I guarantee that. I guarantee that, Amanda. It's not going to come out until, like, summer or even winter of 2020. Uh. <laughs> what is this? No! Even more Final Fantasy! <laughs> oh man, it's a fucking remaster. Oh my god. Wait, what what number was this? Was this 8? Cuz cuz Squall's in it, right? Squall's 8. Dude, these graphics are not very pretty. Like they're pretty. Oh my god. I swear to god, if I took a shot for every fucking Final Fantasy game that has been announced today. God dang it, man. That's... Yeah, that was five, six, seven. Yeah, that was eight. Oh, I'm so pissed. I got fucking cock-blocked by Final Fantasy. <laughs> yo! Yo! Yo, here we go! Here 
Here we fucking go! Oh my god! Stop heckling, you fuckers! I can't fucking hear. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. They look a little weird, but... Fucking turn into the Hulk, my guy! Holy shit. Oh my god, they're showing fucking gameplay. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. That's kind of what Thor's all about now, Iron Man. Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> Taskmaster. Oh my god, what is this? Yo, I want to see some cap gameplay. Oh my god. Holy shit. And the helicarrier is gone. Yo, the crowd really needs to shut up. They need to... Oof. That Tony model. Others call them murderers. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Uh, I'm sorry, what? They did not just kill Cap in the fucking trailer. Oh my god. Oh my god. That looked so fucking good. That looked so, so fucking good. Good fucking job. Good fucking job. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, they're these guys need to shut up. Thank you, thank you Let them talk. Good fucking job. A few years ago, Crystal Dynamics and Marvel began collaborating on an original Avengers game. One that combines epic action adventure with cinematic storytelling. A game where we as players can experience in both single player and co-op what it's like to Yo multiplayer? <laughs> multiplayer? <laughs> multiplayer. Yeah, the Cap's costume looked kind of whack.
blamed for the tragedy. The Avengers are outlawed and our heroes disband. Five years later, a horrific evil threatens the world. You did not, you did not fucking kill Captain America in the trailer. As your favorite Avengers in an all new original story showcasing authentic Marvel heroism and humanity. It's about losing. Good freaking job, guys. That looked good. I wish I saw a little more gameplay. But that was really fucking good. Oh my god, these guys need to shut up. Most importantly, this is a story about self-acceptance in the face of adversity. This is really the year of the heckler, isn't it? Our individual powers and learning that together we are mighty. Oh yeah, no, the Justice League is like dead at this point. No one cares about the Justice League, and it pisses me off. Chris Evans! Chris Hemsworth! Yeah, the, the... I gotta say, the models look a little weird, though. The models look a little weird. A little weird. They need to fix it just a smidge. They look a little weird. I want them to patch it up a little bit. That's all I want. Just, uh, just patch it up a little bit. Oh my god. They're actually introducing them? Holy shit. Troy and I play Captain America. I'm Travis Willingham and I play Thor. Hi, I'm Laura Bailey and I'm playing Black Widow. Hi, I'm Nolan North and I play Tony Stark. No fucking way! The, uh, Nolan North is Tony fucking Stark? Tony Stark Iron Man? Yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, you know, everybody always... And Troy Baker is Bruce Banner. I think it's a mask for, for him. I think he's a, one of those... Mmm! That's what I'm talking about. Cool character. A lot of people are, are really quick to, to bring out the big green, but I think that, that I don't even recognize him. Holy shit! Super complex character. He's fun, and I've never played him before. What is very relatable about Natasha is she's extremely capable, but she's at the core. She's human. She's mm. all of this. Nolan fucking life, so North. She has to step up to it. I, I feel like Thor got really interesting. In the like 10 or 15 years from for me I, I like where he's kind of landed in the, the public eye you know what is the nolan fucking noise i never feel like he uh he necessarily wants to be a leader he accepts that he is i feel like sometimes the best leaders are the ones who don't necessarily want to be but they're right for the job having an original story to tell as well what they've done at Crystal Dynamics is great. No, so Nolan North voiced uh, Nathan Drake, and Troy Baker voices a lot of people. Like, they both voice a lot of people. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Can't wait for you to be able to play the game, but right now, you don't have to wait for some exclusive content. What, 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 what? what? Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. Oh my god, I can hear it now. Did you even check the signs? Did you check it was a heist, Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. The Terrigen reactor was unstable. And you knew that. You knew that and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. We failed him. We failed him. Jeez. Please welcome Scott Amos, 
head of studio, and Megan Marie, senior community and social media manager, Crystal Dynamics. Oh my god, they're gonna, they're gonna milk this one. They're gonna milk this game so hard. Wow. You've just seen a high level view of the cinematic and character driven campaign of Marvel's Avengers. But launch is only the beginning of this adventure. Marvel's Avengers delivers a narrative over multiple years with exciting new content released at a regular basis. Like the Avengers, you and your friends okay. are stronger together. You'll mm -hmm. assemble into teams of up to four players online there we go where you can master extraordinary abilities where you can customize a growing roster of heroes and there we go from ever escalating threats oh yeah yes <laughs> and to make sure everyone comes on this journey with us we're incredibly thrilled to announce that every new superhero and every new region will be delivered at no additional cost Yo! Free Avenger DLC. Good shit, guys. Good stuff. So our promise to the community is that we won't have random loot boxes or pay to win scenarios. Yeah. Say it louder for the people in the back! This game represents a collaboration across Crystal Dynamics. Studio. Oh my god. Everyone at Square Enix. So our game is about embracing your powers and living your superhero dreams. We have an exclusive gameplay demo in our booth that will show you more of the plot no. of pain, its original story, Give us a gameplay mission. demo now! PS4, Xbox One, Stadia, and PC. We got you covered. And we're oh, there's no release date yet. To bring some awesome surprises to the PlayStation audience. Exclusively? Including early beta access. Yeah! Unique benefits that we'll be revealing in the future. We have one final glimpse into our world, including when you'll get to play this game. Please! Is what's next for the Avengers. Thank you, true believers. Excelsior! Come on, come on, baby. Give me a release date. I have a plan, but it's risky. Oh, baby. Wait, that's Hank Pym. Unbelievable. It worked. Holy so shit. Ah, I didn't doubt you for a second, Hank. Wow. May fifteenth, twenty twenty. Holy shit. Right when I freaking graduate. That's wild. Alright, that Kingdom Hearts 3 poster should not be up there. Get the hell out of here. Fuck that game. Wow. We are Ooh, that was a hard cut. Holy shit. Okay. There you go. No gameplay. Yeah. Very upsetting. Yeah. Very, very, very upsetting. A lot, a lot of info that's really great. I mean, I feel like there was a moment that we saw 
Tony flying and he did Oh, shut off. up. We got plenty yeah, of gameplay. Like who are these who are these people? Yeah. Fuck off. Uh, doing something like he was guiding uh, the helicarrier. I thought we were going to get like No, shut up. Shut up. We did good. That was fucking amazing. Oh, yeah, cuz I got to There we go. That was fucking awesome. Holy shit. All right. Um, what time is it? It's 10:18 where I'm at right now. Holy shit! All right, I got some videos to edit. I'm gonna be putting them, put them, up, putting them up on my YouTube. Um, so tomorrow I will be back at around yeah around noon EST. Um, basically like actually the exact same time as the uh, the Nintendo conference. So, um, me and the crew are gonna be streaming the the Nintendo conference. So, uh, Toothless Amanda. Be sure you uh, stick around and uh, watch those. So for now, um, I will be heading off to um, edit videos, get hype, and grab something to eat because I am very hungry. So um, have a good night, guys, and I will see you tomorrow morning.